Hello, hello guys, how are we doing and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another Help With Hazard episode where I review subscribers' gameplays to make them better Call of Duty players. Um, if you want yours to be reviewed, leave a submission down in the description. Uh, there's a link in the description for Jot Forms. Fill in this form, upload a video to YouTube, and I will review. A little bit of a tip, I can't review them all, so if you make the this area interesting and unique, I'm more likely to pick it. Um, before we get into the gameplay, I just wanted to say the format of the video is going to be I review the form, we analyse the gameplay and all its loveliness, and then at the very end we do a little bit of a conclusion where I give two things I want the player to take away and learn from specifically, and where I expect them to be, what rank I expect them to reach um, when you by the end of the year. Um, so today we're reviewing Undisputed Badman. Yep, you heard that right. Um, they play 15 hours a week, so a fairly average amount, about three hours out of, I don't know, about two hours a day, just over two hours a day on average. They're currently plat one, but they solo queue. So that's something interesting to take from this. They solo queue, didn't play in W2. They're playing a 4 4 sensitivity. Personally, I find that a little bit too low, but if it suits you and you're happy with it, absolutely fine. Um, personally, I'd recommend putting them to 5 5 to see how that feels and maybe reduce your ADS sensitivity multiplier as the first thing, just so that you're a little bit more quick with it. But 4 4 for me is low, but if it suits you, Fine. If you don't feel like you're losing gunfights because of it, absolutely fine. 105 FFV, perfect. You play on a 4K TV, standard PS5 controller that comes with the PS5. So the setup leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, there are some 4K TVs with a 1MS delay, so uh, like really good gaming TVs with 120 hertz. So I'm hoping that's sort of the thing you're playing on. Um, but yeah, standard controller, fine. No issues with that whatsoever. So looking at what um, you want me to look on to improve, I struggle with sub-base. I've sent this video because it's one of my best games. I don't know what I'm doing wrong when I was killing. I could, when I, when I was killing, I could, enemy team sound high and aiming like that. I felt like I was rotating and getting good spots and spawns, but we lost and I only got 16 kills. Okay, so you feel like it feels right. You're saying you're getting good kills. The enemy's like, oh, how did he kill me? Um, but generally speaking, you're not coming out with the figures you want. Statistically, you're not winning. Uh, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I stopped playing COD for a few years and I can't just get back as many kills as I used to. That's fine. It happens. Um, so let's get into the gameplay. By the way, bonus point, if you can tell me what song is in, in the background um, or what game is this uh, lobby music in. Uh, it's a Call of Duty, obviously. Um, so I've decided to have a look at the scoreboard for here to see what you mean by this. So you do get 16 kills. You die 18 times. You get second least hill time. Um, second least defends, second least kills, and second least death. So you're very second least here, but obviously you don't get the score you want, and you do lose the game. So this is what we're going to use as a basis. Let's strip it back to the very beginning here and see what we can do to improve. Get on 1080p for you guys, um, and let's have a look. So I love sub base. It's one of my favourite maps. Um, the first thing I'm noticing here is a little bit of dead zone because you're not moving your stick I assume and it's drifting right maybe up to your dead zones I wouldn't advise going anything over like a 0 0.07 um, so unless it's already on 0 0.07 up it a little bit just that might make your aim a little bit better but I don't think aim's a problem I'm not going to be focused on your aim it's just how can we play sub base more uh, like better I guess not more better but better so I don't mind this route um, good gunfight there you read that love that um, you delayed it slightly because you strafed early, but that was a really good kill. I like this route. Um, so far, so good. Pre-naded it. Like that. Another solid kill. <laughs> nice. So, part of being able to play situations is knowing the spawn so that's something i'm going to focus on a little bit here because that's how you really master a map so essentially on this hill there are two main spawns i'm going to really simplify this there's one behind p2 where your teammates pretty much just spawned here where my cursor is and there's one the other side of tunnel pretty much where you just spawned off spawn you will they will that spawn will stay the same way as long as you have someone on your team at the top third or this right hand side of the map like over here somewhere that's where you know that will block the spawn and ensure that the enemy spawn this way so that's what you want because p2 is literally just here okay so i don't like this i'll tell you why i don't like this it's because every engagement you have while you're in this room is going to be relatively 
short ranged. They're not spawning in the back, so you're almost waiting for them to get to the hill. Now, a lot of miss people I see do this, and there's one thing I want to sort of emphasize when people play like this is, would you rather lose a gunfight from the hill where you are now, or would, would you rather, if you look at the minimap here, or would you rather lose a gunfight a little bit further out, which means that when you end up spawning back in, you've got a time to meet them in the middle on the hill. It should be B. You would much rather prefer to lose the gunfight off the hill than on the hill because it means they can just hop on the hill as soon as you lose the gunfight. If you really want to be good here, if you really want to play the best of your ability and you know guarantee the win, you need to try and be a little bit aggressive. There's a whole middle half of the map here. I've obviously continued the map a little bit here where they're spawning this side of it and they've got to run across this open barren wasteland to get to this side of the map. Personally, this is doing nothing. Where you are currently is doing nothing for your team. Um, I apologize if I'm being a bit too harsh, but I'm hoping I don't feel like it's being harsh. Um, you need to hold this open spot here. You need to be holding a massive cut. Personally, because you had a pretty much free reign, if we just go back a little bit here, you had free reign to run across this whole area here. What I would have liked to have seen is you run to maybe the tank over here and then watch down this way. Uh, but if you, you know, from the tank as well, you can watch the hole through mid. But generally speaking, you're the first blocker at the tank here. And even if you lose that gunfight, you spawn back in the back here anyway at P2. So I don't like your position at P2. I think you probably should have, as I say, played the cut. They've got across this middle open bit of the map. Your shots are really decent so far. I would just trust your gunner at this point. You're almost waiting for them to get to you before you take the gunfight. Take the gunfight to them. They're spawning the other side of the map. See what you can do from there. Okay, you got the kill. And your teammates spawned out. Now they're probably because they've rotated around the back here. Okay. So, you know he's there. And you... Yeah, so you know this player's here. This is a bit of a mixy gunfight. It's actually a good gunfight for you because it's really hard to shoot through the stairs from the other side. So this is actually a good gunfight in your favor here. There's no reason you should have reloaded there. I don't know whether that's what's got you killed. I imagine it is. You have 27 bullets. That's enough to kill four or five people easily here. 27 bullets. You do not need to reload, especially considering you know someone is literally here. You don't know where the other team, the rest of the team are. They could literally hop down any minute now. You're going to need to shoot people very soon. That's a guaranteed, uh, especially considering you've just seen someone on here. You do not need to reload there. That's a massive mistake. You you probably would have killed him way earlier than that. Okay, so we've currently got really terrible spawns here. Um, I'm going to turn this down a little bit just in case anyone says anything I don't want on YouTube. Um, you, you really need to try and... These spawns are really hard to break. So you've got, there's 43 seconds left. You've got good spawns for the new hill. So you want to keep that in the sort of the back of your mind. So you want to keep this as scrappy as you can whilst maintaining the, the, the spawns you've got. That's really should be your goal because you don't want to flip. If you spend too much time trying to flip now, it's going to be maybe 30 seconds by the time, you know, you get control of the hill and then the other team are already going to be spawning a new and you lo lose that 30 seconds. So you may as well just try and fight it from this side. Okay. So. Your team are coming from this side. It tells you the enemy team are going to be coming from either this window, the garage over here, or they're going to be wrapping around this bit here. You know they're not wrapping around this bit here because otherwise they'd have killed you. So you've got to be a little bit precarious about the window and the garage. You've just ran in here with no idea where they are. You've just seen an enemy's radar ping here. Um, in essence, what I'm saying here is let your team hop the hill. You've got an AR. Try and, you know, stay up the top here. Don't jump down. You do not want to jump down. If you it's a, you have no info on when half of the enemy team are, if you drop down, they could be literally under here playing a really cruddy corner and waiting for someone to... It could be a trap. So what I'm saying here is what I would do in this situation is run down here, go down the stairs, check garage, considering you've just seen that this on the mini-map, um, get the kills here potentially but let your team fill the gaps do not feel it's always your thing to get on the hill clear the area first slow it down a little bit then hop on the hill when you feel like it's definitely safe to do so your teammate got in it anyway so you didn't need to 
So, okay, we have flip spawns. Ugh, not great. Um, that basically tells you the enemies were spawning are spawning now just exactly where you were. Nice kill. Okay. Again, you do not need to reload. You just killed one person. You've got 20 bullets left. I mean, arguably, it took you nine bullets to kill that one person, which says you've got another two kills in you at least here. Um, yeah. You either should have waited for you, him to just keep the spray in there, but you shouldn't have reloaded. That's what I want you to take from that. You shouldn't have reloaded whatsoever. Because um, what you've done there, it's a little bit, a little bit tricky here, but... You spawned in and there's I need I mean you need to get the time, I get that. Um yeah, this was a big kill because you've basically spawned all the way back into Narnia with ten seconds left. Uh, which means then you're you're rotating from here. So let's see what route we take to break this hill. The 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 hardest way for them to defend this next hill is if someone is top snow. So I'd like to see a little bit of a push to the top. Let's see how we do. Okay, was there any way we could have seen that person coming? No. Okay. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. You had the right idea, though. Um, but yeah, it's hard to say. So, again, the two spawns here, just for your... Uh, uh, just for, just to help. The two spawns here are anywhere under these two top tower things and behind the spawn. Now, if any single person on any team is around the hill or on the hill or in in the back there, both teams can spawn here. So, just be very careful of that. Um, but yeah, that's it down. That's it put down to its simplest, simplest terms. Okay, trophy, nice. Got the kill. I'd wait to heal if I were you. Doesn't matter. You got the second. This is nice. This is a really nice play. That was almost perfect there. Um, but again, you don't, you don't need to rush to the hill here. So let's break down what you've just done. I love the three piece, don't get me wrong, the three piece is brilliant. However, you have one, two, three teammates at this hill. They're not going to be spawning back here because your teammates have got all the pressure. And realistically, maybe one arguably might spawn there, but you've got three teammates up here. They should be able to deal with it. Instead of going all the way back through here, all the way back into the spawn like you did, you've given them again, you've given up this whole tunnel side just to let them run through. And therefore, taking the gunfights in this opening before, you know, if you lose it, again, they're on the hill. Keep, they're going to spawn where you just spawned. Spoiler alert. Um, so what I'd have done here is turn around and focus all my attention onto the middle of the map. Even if I just laid down or if I got behind, got behind the boxes here and watched forward here, you're the first line of defense here um, to channel the people coming through tunnel. You, your teammates can see you've got tunnel. All they need to do then is watch top snow above you and then, uh, and then warehouse. But you've given up so much ground here just to get into the back of the spawn and pretty much watch nothing, I assume. Yeah, you only need one person on the hill at the time. Your teammate's doing that. And I think you sort of you sort of realise what was happening here. Like you've, But again, you do not to be, need to be on the hill at the same time. Push through, get some kills, drive the engagements yourself, take the gunfights to them. You're in a position where you just pre-aimed. So if an enemy comes down here, it leads potential of them killing you. Um, so yeah, just... I think I hope you get the gist of what I'm trying to trying to explain. Okay, you're rotating to new. I like this. A little bit of a risky rotation here. So I try and avoid rotating through this area as much as possible um, to this hill because there are so many head glitches you've got to check. They could be they could be here, literally right next to you. They could be behind a box here. They could be behind the tarp. They could be on any one of these cranes using its cover. Uh, and they could be on the hill. So there's like all of these X's you've got to check. And it's hard to see. It's The visibility is really crap, this area of the map. I'd like to see you take a little bit of a route. Personally, I like to go up to the, cat, the, the catwalk, jump up to top third, and then try and get a little bit of kills from there. Once you get two or three down, then get in the hill. But yeah, as I say, you can't even see the player shooting you at that point. I don't mind the trophy. It covers your teammate's route. Um, nothing wrong with that trophy. But yeah, you're stuck here sort of fighting horrible, horrible gunfights and wasting a lot of time. 
you're probably going to die here eventually unless you manage to get a first pick. But even then, that's one player down. You've just spent 20 seconds trying to kill that one player. You've then got to look for three more. You know there's one on time. Uh, that's two down. But no one at this point is blocking the spawn, so they may still be spawning in the back, which I think they are. So yeah, there's 30 seconds here, and we're still not fully in the hill. So we're playing a, probably a little bit too passively, but I think that does come to the simple fact that we've pushed this alley, and it hasn't. you, you haven't had many options because the alley is such a hard push. So just as a rule of thumb, unless you're literally forced to go down that way, play through middle, try and get to the top third, uh, and then get chow the point from there. You've just got an absolutely god spawn behind them, all of you have. But that's not ideal because the new hill is, is pretty much here. Okay, tricky gunfights here. Okay, what could we have done better here? So, realistically, you almost... It's a, it's, you're challenging the hill at 25 seconds, which is a really risky in the first place. Um, and then when you've spawned in... You've gone to hit the hill again, which I sort of don't mind here. There's a player on your right, which you see. And you think, okay, these are probably some easy, easy kills. In hindsight, I mean, I'd have probably done the same. I'd have probably tried to kill this guy and then killed the guy on the hill. Probably. But the smartest thing to do here is to wrap all the way around to new. Leave this completely. 10 seconds left. If you die within these 10 seconds, you're going to be spawning in. There's, you've got no progression towards the new hill whatsoever. On any other hill, you'd rotate at this point. You'd have rotated way before this point. So why is this hill different? The logic still needs to be the same. Rotate round to P2 and then try and attack the hill. Leave these guys here. What that does, it allows you to understand that these two players are here, which means when you are rotating to the new hill that you need to be aware of them. So you, you get free info there that may, you know, you know, they may not know about. Um, arguably, your teammates have literally spawned with you so they'd have drawn attention to you anyway, but I'd have, if I'd have spawned alone, I'd have probably tried to, tried to sneak around. Okay, so where do we respawn? Yeah, respawn in the worst place possible. Okay, good kill. Personally, I was a little bit nervous you jumping out there because we had nothing cleared. There could be someone here, there could be someone at the oil tankers here, there could be someone top P2 window. Someone could literally be anywhere in the middle watching you cross. I was a little bit nervous you jumping out, but it somehow paid off, <laughs> to be fair. Okay, that's tough. Yeah, that's that's just annoying. Uh, I do that all the time as well, but obviously, you know, try and clear the trophies. Yeah, nice. I never push tunnel. Tunnel is just death waiting the other side. So always try and push through warehouse if you can to this hill or wrap. If you have enough time, uh, wrap all the way back round to P1. Nice. Yeah, this guy seems really mad that you're shooting his your shots. Okay, so... Even if there was a guy behind here, you're dead because you just mantled this. So obviously this isn't the best thing to be doing. Just quickly check it uh, and then you know if they're not there. You obviously don't want to climb on top like that. Okay. So we rotate through comms, which is fine. That nade is probably not going to make it because it's a Semtex. You do pre him this, but you center in. Yeah, he's dropped to the floor. That's yeah. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind your play, though. I don't mind your play. I'm always nervous about tunnel pushes because you have no cover coming out of it. Your teammate's just got three kills there's one more there he is right okay let's take a look at where you're at where your teammate spawns because that will determine where the enemy are okay so your teammates just spawned on the left hand side of the map which tells you the enemy are going to be spawning around here which you've read hopefully i hope you read yeah you've just got a stun get a trophy down i didn't know about that jump i am baffled i did not know about that jump okay notes taken so you've got someone challenge low here you've got someone top third you've just seen on the on the on the radar yeah that's a bit of a bold chow um 
personally, I'd, I'd have maybe done the same, but you've played this so slowly. Like, you've probably been called out. You've played this really slowly. But in any case, I don't mind that hold. Uh, I don't mind that secret hold. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It was just how you executed it. It probably could have done uh, been done a little bit better. But nice, we respawn in. We're rotating. I hope we don't play for P1 here. Ignore. Yeah, ignore. Try and just get round. All you want to try and do here is get around the back, be a little bit difficult, and uh, infiltrate their defences, you could say. Nice. No one's on it yet. Don't rush this. Just seen someone up top as well. Ah, that was a really sticky situation. Okay. Your shots at medium range are decent, okay? What I'd have loved to have seen here is, at this point, you know someone is bottom. You know someone's top. Your, what you decide to do is just push, which means that they're on this head glitch. They can, they can camera you out this door. They can camera you out this door. You're left in a real open situation with no cover. Plus, you have this guy up here. You can literally just look down and beam you. Use your AR, use the cover around you, and play this a little slower. There's a forklift to your right, which I would have used in this situation to clear them out. You could have thrown that nade from the forklift, forced him to run out, um, and then you'd have just had a free pick from either, either way they de decide to come out. So yeah, playing that a little bit slower could have been a little bit more beneficial. Uh, you close the gap when you could have just sat and had cover yourself. And as a result, you know, they broke the hill. Okay, he's going to be aware of this. You don't want to flip here. Okay. A bit of a risky shot there. That first call. I hate pillars like this. As I say, playing around these pillars are really quite difficult. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at what, what's happened here though. So you need to be very careful about pushing round. So 35 seconds left. And the enemy has just died. And because you're back here, the enemy, that enemy spawns out. So where is currently blocked on your on, on the map? Mm, this back spawn here. You're blocking this back spawn. No one on your team is blocking the spawn further out, which means that the enemy, whoever's first to spawn in, can't spawn here because you're here. But so they'll spawn the other side of the map at the new hill. You're then your next two teammates then, because you, the enemy team have spawned out, have spawned behind you. And you've now got 20 seconds of hill time here, and they're spawning at the new. So, my lesson here, do not flank hills like this one, where you could potentially flip the spawns with half of the hill time left, because it just leads you getting meanless scrap time, um, and they're already at the new here. I want to see you, you know, full sprinting towards new right here. I mean, yeah, you need to get the scrap, but... Let them play for 12 seconds, you know? But again, we're in a very simpler, same pattern here where we're spawning out with 10 seconds left, or not even with less than 10 seconds left. You've got the worst spawn for the next hill with less than 10 seconds left on most of these hills. Um, but that's simply because we're trying to flip either too late into the old hill or we're not rotating early enough. There's nothing wrong with rotating 25 seconds into the old, you know, with 20 seconds left. Nothing wrong with that, as long as you guarantee a decent setup at the new hill. We're getting scrap time every hill here. Oh, okay. Okay, so obviously, um, this isn't the best approach. You've, you again, you're really close range here. You've not using your distance. There's cover to your right here in terms of boxes where you can use if you get weak. You have a, you have a nade you could throw. Um, there's a bunch of things we could have done here slightly better to win this gunfight. Uh, unfortunately, because you're shooting at two people, your aim assist was a little bit well, hey. Um, yeah, in, in any case, it's a little bit of a tricky situation because you're now fighting this battle head on. I'd have liked to have seen a route up top. So I said on the first time we spawned here, um, you want to try and play for top third. This is the most obvious place you can chow. You can either hop up to this, hop up there, and then go around top third like that. I mean, I know there's a fella here. Um, that, or you've got 50 seconds left. Rotate through comms, go all the way around and pinch them. Uh, but you want to try, my number one priority when there's people on this hill is to try and get top snow control. Obviously, in this situation, you can't because this guy's here. Oh, that was a terrible circle. This guy's here, so you need to look for an alternative route. Either that's just challenging this guy, winning the gunfight, then getting up there. Or, as I say, 
flank round left. It'll take you 10 seconds to flank round. You then play for 40 seconds. And, you know, if you win that, great. If you don't, you're in the no worse position. The worst thing you can do on this hill is run through tunnel over and over again, which I think is what happens. Even when you lose the gunfight, you go to run down it straight away again. You're literally feeding them. You're running down the same alley over and over again. You're feeding them into a, you know, you're, be, you're being fed into a predictable line of sight. Look, they're, they're already going to be pre-aiming this. And again, you've won the hill. You've won the spawns with 15 seconds left. It's not great. When you spawned in here, I would have probably chalked it. Looking at the time here, there's 30 seconds left. Just play, decide to run back to the back of the spawn, play deep, and just play for picks. If your teammates die, they'll probably spawn with you because you're back there. But the worst thing you've done here is it's taken you 15 seconds to get to the hill. By the time you actually hop on the hill, there's 15 seconds left. They can't spawn here. They're spawning at new. They're going to be set up at new. So we're still here. And we, we somehow die? Oh, it's because they spawned out. That one player spawned out. That's fine. Okay, so if you ever... This is, a, this is a rule of thumb here. If you ever spawn comms on this hill, it means someone is going to be pushing down this alley. Because in other case... Uh, actually, not because you've got teammates here. Just be wary that if you ever spawn comms, always run down here and check your right first because there's chances that there's going to be someone there. Yeah, they are coming from that direction. So, again, why are we running backwards to the hill? And when I say backwards, I mean backwards to your spawn. Your teammate has literally just spawned in the back here, which means that the enemy are going to be coming from this direction. You're running back, and I don't know what your plan is here. Let's have a look. You're getting top third. Okay, don't mind that. Don't mind this, but yeah. They're going to be either coming through comms or down long. That's that's where they're going to be spawning. There's In order for them to go through tunnel, they've got to take a route all the way around and then come through tunnel. They're either going to go comms or or down the long route here. Um, which is why I said you're sort of giving up map control. If you'd have literally just turned around on the spot when you were down at the long area here, sat on one of the boxes in the mid-like mid, mid, mid -like cutout, um, you'd have probably managed to get a couple kills. Your teammates are doing a good job here. Don't mind this third control. Although you, you're, you're, in, you're on an area of third where you have no cover. Good kill. You're weak. Wait to regain. Okay. You've just seen someone at new. There's 20 seconds left at new. Personally, the ideal situation, I understand you're in a solo queue, is you want to have the spawns this side of the map where you currently spawn in, but you want to have someone top top here. What that will do is it will spawn the enemies all the way out behind the tunnel here. Um, it will force them to run into warehouse, for which case you can just look down and beam them. That's the ideal setup. That's what I try and achieve every single time. That's only doable if you've got spawns here. Good comms to the teammate. Yeah, that's tough. Just trying to break this down a little bit. So your teammate's pushing through here. You've died, that's unfortunate. What I'd have tried to do, again, you're leaving yourself with no cover whatsoever. If you want to attack it from this side, run out the side door and either go all the way to the oil over here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the minimap here, but all the way over here, go to the oils because they've got headies. That will go to the P2 plat, which is just here. I'm going to circle it because there's headies. What you do here is the worst thing you could have done in this situation, which is jump out. Even if you stayed here and played for kills coming out of warehouse, that's a better thing than what you did because you literally jumped down. There's no cover. You don't always have to be the person getting that hill time first. That's just that's just something. So you should spawn P2, which is ideal. You want these spawns. Nice, this is a little bit of a better route. Unfortunate stun. Nade, let's see some pre-aims here. Yeah, that's tough. Okay. So I don't mind what you did. You naded, you stunned. Um, but on the mini-map, you can see where they are. You know they're just sat behind the tank and that's it. Okay, 
You peaked Will weak again. Stay down. You're absolutely one shot here. I don't mind that you're looking over because whilst you're weak and taking cover, you may as well check up here. But you stand way too soon. Yeah. It's unfortunate. And you've spawned in. You've spawned out. Unfortunately, that's terrible. Not the best. Not the best situation. I imagine we die running out here. Yeah. So this is a horrible place to run out of, especially if you don't check. If you ever run out of this tunnel, you need to pre-aim a few things. You need to pre-aim here as you come out. Pre-aim top third as you come out. It takes time, which is why I don't advise doing it. And realistically, even if you do pre-aim these, they're on absolute god spots that they're just going to beat me from anyway. And then. When you eventually run around here, you need to pre-aim P2 window. Then you need to pre-aim the general gens. There's so many things you have to pre-aim coming out here. You can't just run out here. I get there's time constraints, um, but it takes you a couple of seconds to pre-aim. Especially, as, like, this is what I'm saying. You come around here, you need to pre-aim these two areas, especially when you're coming around, uh, considering you know they've got full hill control. But we've just run out. They've killed you from the window. Yeah. And I think they win off of that. If you'd have got that kill... It'd have probably, you know, forced the people on the hill to chow you. Um, but yeah, that's how, that's, that's how we lost. Okay. So there are a couple of things I want to say. So what are we? We're plat... Plat one. Solo queuing at plat one is quite difficult. So you've clearly got decent shots. I think I foresee you hitting maybe three tiers. If I see you, I may be, may be getting into diamond by the end of the year. Um, there's a couple of things we're doing fine, which is obviously you've got a good class setup, your shots are decent, you're rotating, you're aware of rotating, and your comms are clean. They're not frustrating comms whatsoever. So it's not like I'm going to give you things to work on, but it's definitely not all bad. You'll play some things really well, um, but there's a couple of things I really like to see you work on. Trophy usage. I can count the amount of trophy you use on this game in one hand, which you should be using it all the time. Um, um, you're not pushing through... Uh, you know, you're giving them so much. You're not. You're giving up map control far too easily when you've got the beneficial spawns, um, and your reloading is. You, you reload a little bit too much. There's an example of it just here. So there's two things I want to try. You like, obviously, I do believe you can get to diamond as your nexus. But even if, if you, even if you are solo queuing, I fully believe you can get to diamond. The only thing, the only two, there's two things I want you to try and do, which is going to dramatically change how you play hardpoint and especially sub base. First of all, try and learn your spawns. I feel like you got the gist of why the spawns are, but that's not one of the things anyway. First things first, which is going to help general gameplay. Do not reload after one kill. If you have, especially if you're in a really hectic zone, try and reload less. If you've got 20 bullets in the magazine, that's enough for three kills easily. Try and keep that in your magazine. There's no reason to reload every single time you get a kill. So just, you, I think you learned that in this gameplay because I saw a lot less of it throughout the, you know, the, the, the latter half of the, of the gameplay. Um, but yeah, try stop that habit of reloading. You're probably aware of that already. That's the number one thing which I think could have made this go the other way, perhaps. The second thing is, if your teammates are spawning in the good spawns for the current hill, do not run back to the, to the hill or back to the spawn. Play between where the enemy team are spawning and the hill, especially if you've got the opportunity. P2, and there's a numerous times in this gameplay here where, you know, you were pushed up a little bit, um... And you decided to, you know, give up map control. That's something I want to try and get you out of the habit of because you could have, one, gotten way more kills and two, potentially got more hill time because, you know, it had taken them longer to get to the hill because they'd have had to get through you first. Uh, instead, there was so many times where we backed up, gave them hill control, gave them map control, and then just, you know, they wiped the teammates on as well as you on the hill uh, and left you in a, in a little bit of a predicament. So they're the main two things. To summarise, reload less and... Do not give up map control when you have map control or when you can have map control. That's something vital that even players of higher levels don't seem to know, know how to do. Um, so the two main things, as I say, I definitely see you hitting diamond if you do that. Uh, and I hope I hope people have learned something. I hope even if you're not the player who submitted this gameplay, I hope you've, you know, you know a little bit more about sub base than you perhaps did before about how to play it. Um, but yeah, there's definitely routes on here I would just never take. Coming out of tunnel being one, pushing this hill down this area being the other. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy your weekend. Ciao for now.